Okay, I've never used an iPhone to record before. <laughs> Hi friends, my name is Michelle Renee, but you can call me Giggles. Um, for those who did not know, which is impossible because I feel like I talk about it a lot, I am an actress. I'm a theatrical actress, which means I'm a thespian. I like the theater, and I specifically have a passion for musical theater. Um, I love voice acting, and I love film and TV, but just musical theater is my number one. So I decided to dedicate this video to tips that I've gotten on acting from famous people that I've met. Some of them aren't as famous as you think. Um, some of them, like, you might know all of these people on this list, or just a couple of them, and that's, like, fine. But, so, yeah, I just wanted to, um, share my experience with, um, the advice that some people have given me. So, I go to a college in California where my professor is a man named John Laprino. And I don't think he's super famous, but he's been in, um, a couple of, uh, daytime TV, and he's been in, like, some pretty, I think he showed me a video of him called Prison Life, and he was pretty funny in that. And um, he's been my professor for about five years. I've been going to college for a really long time. It's, don't be like me. Don't. John is really amazing, and um, it's weird seeing him when he was younger, when people were like fangirling over him. But um, yeah, it's like, uh, I feel like he's kind of hard to pin down in what he's taught me, because he's taught me so much. Like I learned how to become an actress from mostly him. So he's awesome. Everybody who is part of the older generation will probably know this one. Uh, I know Sinbad, the comedian. I don't know him know him, but like uh, we kind of have like a nice little friendship going on. I used to work in a small hole-in-the-wall deli. I used to work in this deli that he used to come in to all the time. And um, I, I only really recognized him because people were like, Oh, look over there, that's Sinbad. And I was like, Oh, that's Sinbad. That's the guy that my dad used to like. And so um, I asked his opinion for comedy because I used to do a lot of improv comedy. Um, at that time, I was doing a lot of improvisational comedy. And since he's a comedian, I was like, hey, do you have any tips for an aspiring actress, writer, just up and coming, you know, creator? And he is so friendly. He just says, you know, just keep on writing. If you have an idea, like, don't throw it away. Just keep writing. Save it. You never know if you're going to use it in the future. And, like, he's been such a nice person. Every time he, he came in, he was always, like, friendly. And he'd be like, hey, how's the improv going? Oh, hey, have you gotten in anything? He's no. such a sweetheart. Some people might remember a little movie called Spy Kids. Um, the actress Alexa Vega and her husband Carlos Pena came in. And my brother loves Carlos because he was in Big Time Rush or something, and I totally recognized Alexa because I loved Spy Kids, but more than that, I loved Repo, the genetic opera. So I recognized her, and on her way out, I said, hey Alexa, and she said, yeah, and I said, I loved Repo, and she goes, thank you, nobody says that, and I feel like it was an incredible moment for both of us because, like, I, I, I'm sure that nobody does say that, and she probably thought it was nice to be recognized for something other than Spy Kids, and for me, I was just like, oh, Alexa Vega thanked me. Oh, that's so cool. So I asked her um, um, if she had any tips for an actress. I asked all these people something, and Alexa said, be patient, you know, sometimes you're not always meant for the lead character, other times you are, you know, like, um, for every... For every um, yes, there's like five million no's, but like the yes will come. And that was really inspiring and it's so true. It's just, you know, being rejected is honestly part of the job of being an actress. So I feel like I learned a lot from her in that moment. And it was just really nice to see um, Carlos too. He was very friendly. Both of them were very sweet people. So this is probably my favorite. I met Adrian Eller, who is a theatrical actress. I went to see A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder at the Amundsen when it was over here like maybe a year ago or something in California. And it's so funny because like Phoebe is one of my dream roles. I love Phoebe Dice with I would love to be Phoebe. Oh, I love her so much. And I had heard the original Lady Lauren Warsham, I think that's her name, and then the other chick whose name I think is Catherine. Um, and at the time, uh, I don't think I listened to Chalina, if that's how you pronounce your name, but the one person I was like, oh man, you know who I really want to listen to is this girl in the pictures that I'm seeing, this new Phoebe, and she was the Phoebe at the Amundsen, and I was like, oh, it's the girl I wanted to listen to, and I was so happy, so they did this really cool thing at the Amundsen where at the end of the show they were doing it for charity, so they had all the cast members stand out in costume holding a bucket to get a picture with them and donate five bucks, um, to get a picture who would go to charity, so I so, Dad, Dad, we have to go um, get a picture with uh, with um, Adrienne Eller. She's Phoebe Dysquith. So I went up to her and I was like, hi. And I said, Phoebe is one of my dream roles and you 
portrayed her excellently and she was really sweet we got a picture together that was cool and um, and I said like uh, man I, I hope one day I can be Phoebe um, as good as you were and she and on my way out she said don't give up and that was like really awesome ah! right next to John Laprino one of my other professors at my college is a voice actress called Peggy O'Neill and she is amazing. Um, I, I pretty much learned everything I know how to do in acting terms from John Laprino and Peggy O'Neill. And Peggy has been in lots of anime. You've probably seen her in or heard her in Digimon or Lucky Star or a couple of other things. She's She's been in a lot. And uh, she's really, really sweet. She taught me um, to... Um, she taught me how to properly uh, use my voice. She taught me how to like resonate certain things, how to use like certain areas, diaphragm, you know, stuff like that, and it really, really helped. And every time I get like a paid gig for voice acting or something, she's always cheering me on, and like she, uh, she's just really supportive and really awesome. And she's really challenging sometimes, but she's just in general a completely amazing person. So one of her former students is a another voice actress called uh, Lauren Landa. And apparently she was, um, I believe she's in the new, um, Sailor Moon. I think she's in the new Sailor Moon, but she's also been in Attack on Titan, I hear. And, um, since she is one of Peggy's alumni, um, Lauren has graced our class with her presence. And she's come in and, like, answered some questions and how to get in the business and, you know, how to, um, do this, how to do that, how to start strong, how to get a demo. And she was, she was really cool, too. She was really awesome. Another guest in Peggy's class is a voice actress named Felice Sampler. She is probably, um, the, the, um, most, in my word, iconic voice actress that I've met. She's been in, like, way, 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 so many things. Um, I think my favorite character that she has voiced that I liked when I was a little kid was in Digimon, she voiced Mimi, the chick with the pink hat and pink dress. She was Mimi. Um, and she's been in so many others, too. Like, I can't even, I can't even name it. Um, but once again, yeah, her and Peggy are friends, and so she, every semester she goes to, um, um, Peggy, or well, probably only really when Peggy asks her or something, but she goes there and she gives tips and we ask questions and we have these little Fox audition, F-A-U-X. We have little false auditions where, uh, we pretend to, like, go for a character like some people and then she, like, tells us, um, what we could improve on and uh, what, what was really good about it and ultimately who would get the role in that kind of scenario and that was also really big blessing. Butch Hartman has come to my school to deliver, um, a, an award ceremony as the host and, uh, I can't remember if it was, like, two years ago or three years, but he was at my school and, like, um, I, in addition to, like, acting, I also write cartoons. I have one out right now that I don't have an animator for and I'm just drawing for it. But, uh, so when Butch Hartman was at my school, um, I met him and I said, hey, love Fairly Odd Parents. It's probably, like, my favorite thing. Danny Fenton was, like, pretty awesome, but, like, Fairly Odd Parents is my jam. And he goes, thank you. And, um, and I said, um, would you have any, um, advice for somebody who is making cartoons and, uh, writing things and just has a bunch of characters in their head? And he said, yeah, yeah, just keep writing, keep persevering, it gets hard, it gets discouraging, but just keep going. And who knows, you know, maybe one day I'll be watching one of your cartoons. And, like, I say that's really cool, but, like, all these people are just really awesome. I don't know if anybody knows Brian Baugh. It's spelled like B-A-U-G-H. I'm, I'm a little unsure how to spell it, but he is a, uh, I think he's a director and he is a Christian who goes to my, um, church. And, um, he was, like, in this panel at my college service for, um, kids, um, college kids who, you know, obviously had questions about going about the future in a Christianly way, and he was the only person on that panel I could relate to, like, the other people were, like, dentists, lawyers, and I'm a very not serious person, <laughs> I'm a creative person, so it was cool to have him to relate to, but, like, he said, you know, like, uh, even if, like, things are being presented to you in a way where there's only, it seems like there's only one way to do it, just, you know, have faith in God and remember that there's always another way around it if it's in his will, you know, his will will happen, it just matters if you're along for the ride, and so I was like, wow. Actually, last night at my new-ish job, I met this man. I'm not sure what his, how to pronounce his last name, but the name is Sandy Schlaer, and he was the script supervisor for The Room, which was really funny because I got to talk to him about it, and he said, oh, they're making a new movie, and Seth Rogen is playing me. 
<laughs> and I don't know how to feel about it. And so it was great. And I had I had a really nice conversation with him. He was like, what kind of acting do you do? And I said, oh, well, I'm afraid I'm going to disappoint you because I'm not much of a film person. I'm more of a theater person. And he goes, oh, I have so much respect for theater people. Like, there's no safety nets. You have to memorize everything. You have to improv if you need to, like, save yourself or save a scene partner. I have a lot of respect for you guys. So that was really, really amazing. Um... I, I can't thank him enough for saying that. It's always really nice hearing that from people who, like, have met the big screen and know all these bigger people. And, um, yeah, it's just really nice to get that encouragement. So, yeah, that was all the famous people I've ever met. Um, I'm sure this video was and wasn't impressive in certain areas, but I just felt like sharing it with you guys to let you know out there, if you're like me or you're an actress, that there are definitely people out there who um, you will run into, who can give you advice, who can help, who give like, even if it's like just 10 seconds of tip advice, whatever. Um, there, are all pe there are people out there who will help you and will um, want to support you and really do hope that you're part of the you know, next upcoming actors, creators, writers, film filmographer group. And you know, you never know who you're gonna meet or run into and who may remember you down along the line, I don't know. So if you're an actor out there like me, just keep persevering. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have a prayer request, please send it to me. And I hope that you have a fantastic day. Bye.